when you look at the overall numbers, we weren't a successful program. Fox 17 is watching how your tax dollars are spent. And tonight, the Metro Health Department admits, you just heard it, one of its programs just isn't getting enough bang for the buck. The federal government is chipping in $1.5 million each year to fund the New Life Project Fatherhood Program. But to date, less than 200 men have even signed up this year. Fox 17's Guy Arnold, live from the Metro Health Department with tonight's Waste Watch report. Well, guys, the health department was hoping this year to sign up 500 people for this program, but at last report, around 163 had signed up. Well, we're also told less than half of those are even going to the actual workshops. So we wondered what went wrong for a program that's about to be canceled now, and some say is desperately needed in Nashville. A few years ago, Reginald Green found himself in a crisis. I was self-employed, uh, economy kind of took a, a dip. The father of six got behind on child support and that led to more problems. I didn't know that the law was that 500, if you're more than $500 behind, they take your driver's license. Green found help in the New Life Fatherhood Program. Not only helped get his license back, it placed Green on a weekly schedule of classes at the Martha O'Brien Center to help him become a better father and work peacefully with his ex. Now I'm able to teach my son. And, and my children how to be able to effectively communicate and not be angry while you're doing that. Today, the program even helps fathers find jobs, but not enough people have been taking advantage of it. This really wasn't a good fit for the health department, and the health department's not a good fit for the program. Metro Health spokesperson Brian Todd couldn't provide numbers for the first three years of the program, but he says this year 163 have signed up at last report despite a budget supported by $1.5 million a year in federal grant money. Todd says the problem is, unlike other cities getting the grant, it's the health department and not a nonprofit that's overseeing things. They've already established a relationship many times, uh, and so it's something that may end up being something that bolsters the money that they get bolsters what they're already doing. Because of that, the health department decided not to apply for a grant for next year, meaning the program will end, even though some say it's turning around lives. It leaves a big void in the community. I know what you're thinking, why not hand the program on over to a nonprofit? Well, the health department tells me they asked the federal government for permission to do that, but that request was denied. and. At the end of the day, that led the department to not ask for a renewal of the grant. We're live in Midtown, Skyarm, Fox 17 News.